for yourself it was. That's because it's just like anything. You know, when you get into consciousness and some people say, no, I, I can't deal with that. They say, because I grew up on this. My parents taught me this. And that's the reality on the reason why they can't accept nothing, because they, they grew up on something. But don't necessarily make it right because you grew up on something. You see what I'm saying? If your parents is doggone an egghead and teach you something egghead, don't necessarily mean it's valid to God and to reality. Reality is only what you tell yourself it is. Now let me explain this. If I take a person and take a person on birth and tell him everything that he don't see is real and everything he does see is, is a hologram, is an illusion, then he'll have another perception on life. This is called the, because you think because it's physical, it's real. It's the other way around. The physical is an illusion. You're going by these two eyes, which is a cheat. But when the third eye opens, the illusionary world disappears and the real world begins. So what you call the spirits is the real world. So when you talk about death, those are the people that started living and you are the people that's dead. But the only thing that is real in you is the sun inside. That's why you are the S-U-N of God. In the West shall rise up the son of man. Not the son, S-O-N of man. It's the S-U-N in man. The son in man. Call the black dot. You see, the black son, the Abraham, Abraham, sons and daughters of Abraham. Abra, which means son. Ham, which means black. Abraxas in the Gnostic uh, religion. Bethlehem, Beth, which means house. Ham, which means black. Son in black Bethlehem, the star in the black house, the black body. This is the Bethlehem, your temple. This is the temple of God. The sun in Bethlehem is the sun inside of you. That's the only thing that exists down here. So all of the other stuff that we go through that we like to manifest and, and, and think is fancy is only an illusion. It comes from the ego. The ego is a series of, of events that you learn from birth which does not exist. Don't exist. So therefore, our pathetic lives don't exist. <laughs> it don't exist. You see, you have learned those particular things after you fell. What exists is your spirit within you, the soul. You see, they're white people got some spirits. That's energy, but they don't have a soul. Because the soul is called the dark night of the soul. It's called the emerald tablet. I'll document on this all day, because <laughs> I document it on all day. Because what happened was, is the white boy got to jump on the scholars. All the stuff that they told the scholars the dog gonna look at is the stuff that they put in the museums and the libraries. They keep the occult knowledge underground. Even the guy Bruce, the guy that found the dog on archaeological um, um, archaeological tablets at Cousteau, Bruce Williams. Bruce Williams said, "Hell, that ain't the stuff that they read at the University of Chicago." He said, "You need a dog on court and, and, and a dog on Green Beret Army to get down and read the real papyrus we got down there." That's the doggone bull jive that line up with religion you really read. It lines up with religion. The real stuff on the metaphysical stuff, you don't get to that stuff. So all the people talking about this, every nigga tell you about the mystery system, they ain't never been able to tell you about the mystery system. You see what I'm saying? Because they don't know it. They, they are historians. And their history starts with Manetho who lied to them and gave them another history. The real history goes back millions of years. Goes back millions of years. Take it or let it alone. But it's right in your scriptures. It's right all in, in all, even Kemet says it. Millions of years. Unspeakable millennia. They got bones this millions of years, so you know doggone well. You see. Now, the holographic universe. Once the third eye opened on it, see, they say, well, you saying, brother, you saying it was over. We come back in, we say, no, that's the stuff that I've been telling you has been going on. It's just that what's happening is, it can't register in the physical because the physical don't, don't exist. And the only reason why you ain't seen it is because your third eye ain't open, which is your first eye. Because that's the eye you used with when you was God's. You see what I'm saying? So what's going to happen, it's going to go like this. Boom. Cracker, even the cracker told me two weeks ago, about a month ago. The cracker said, look, he said, look. He said, all the stuff in Revelation, he said, we at the way at the end of that. He said, what's happening is, is if the revelations would have happened 2,000 years ago, with the technology that we didn't have as far as the illusionary technology, he said, you could see it because it would have been real. He said, now the white boy is able to control what goes on, on, the, on the, in the world because if it don't come on the news, you don't know what's going on 
out on the world. So how the hell you know what's going on? You see? And he only reports a little bit of that. You see? There's things that's going on on miraculous proportions every hour, but he don't report it because the news is full of all kind of bull jive. You see what I'm saying? Who got killed across town? You see what I'm saying? And then they, then they start, and start your intelligence by putting sports in the news. What idiotic people? Sports. A nigga running a ball. You ain't supposed to have done that thing past 12, past 12 years old. A nigga don't supposed to do nothing with no balls. Come on now. Let's be realistic about it. That's the most idiotic thing in the world. That's why they give you the most money for it. After 12 years old, you're supposed to not grow that. I really look at the TV now because I have advanced my mind and I say, how stupid do they think I am to think I'm going to get into a person picking up? And you know, the women been saying this a long time ago, but they just didn't open up their mouth. They knew that shit was stupid. <laughs> and it don't make no sense. But the man is a child, fragile ego. We got to grow up. How stupid, how idiot, let's, let's be real here. How idiot can we get to watch some, some, some ignoramus run down a football field with a leather ball that the cracker made up. You, you really think about how dumb it is. It's the stupidest thing in the world. Basketball, stupid. It's idiot. And you want to understand, I want to get out of this. I'm a revolutionary. And you turn it on the game? Come on, man. You got to be bigger than this joke. I talk about a basketball game and a football game and a baseball game. That's the crackers in that because the cracker's a child. The cracker has no soul. So to get the spiritual high, he got the bungee jump off a doggone mountain. <laughs> he got to ride motorcycles around a doggone loop and jump across a doggone Grand Canyon in a rocket. Come on, man. That's because he has no soul. And he's got to keep that extra adrenaline, he calls it. All the rush of adrenaline. Skydiving. Jumping off cliffs. The football game, the basketball game. And you done got into this childhood stuff. It's idiotic. See what I'm saying? But, it does, but this is a holographic universe, and that stuff does not exist. Only thing that exists is your spirit on the inside. Check? All right, I want to get that right. So what is up is now down. This is the heaven realm right now. You are in it, and you are the dog on Elohim, as when we go, when we go to the... To the, to the real deal. Book, Complete Prophecies of Nostradamus, translated and edited by Henry C. Roberts, updated by Robert Lawrence. So when you want to get the author, it's going to be Henry C. Roberts, Crown Publishing New York. Crown Publishing New York. Complete Prophecies of Nostradamus. These particular prophecies have been missing since 1679. The French government literally held back prophecies of Nostradamus, the ones that said that the black man was going to take back over the earth. The complete prophecies came out in 1994. We waited on them for almost a whole year. They didn't get on the market until 95, but we waited on them because the crackers were waiting on it, you see. In this, in this book, on page, on page, let's get this right, 107, in the quatrain, we go by centuries, centuries one through like, centuries one through, uh, one through five, one through 10, I think. In century three, quatrain three, 92, this is what it says. It says, the world being near its end period, Saturn shall come yet late to its return. Remember we talked about the Siggy ceremony last year with the Dogon did the Siggy ceremony in 1994? That was the Siggy ceremony to, to polarize Saturn and Jupiter. And as a result, the cracker tried to blow up Jupiter on the 16th of July, right before the here horizon of the Nile of July 23rd. But Saturn is the black cycle and 
The earth literally goes back into Saturn and Saturn goes back into Sirius. I, I'll explain that on a later date if we can get to it on what's called it. Anyway, Saturn being its imprint yet late this return. It happened last year, but it's coming, but it's coming up back now. So they were telling you why the disciples was off because it's coming now. Now you're having all the messed up weather and more to come. Yeah, you might be wearing a dog on bathing suit in December. You know? <laughs> now, look. The world, page 107, the world being near its end period, Saturn will, Saturn will come yet make this return. The Saturn ceremony was polarized and bridged by the Dogon tribe in Africa last year. Look at this. The next word after the Saturn return, the empire, which is the United States, the Empire State, New York City, Empire State of the Illuminati that runs Washington, D.C. New York City is. Washington, D.C. is the government of the United States. And, and uh, New York is the government of the Illuminati. The Empire, which is the Empire State, is also talking about America. That is located a city in America. Will be changed to black nations. The empire will be changed to black nation. Nearborn, because this is a man writing 500, 400 years ago, he's given a, a, a particular a city in Greece and also a pope of Rome, which he's talking about religion and a religious state that runs people, which is talking about all of the white world. Nearborn will have her eyes pecked out by a hawk. The hawk is the god Heru, the phoenix. The city of it, Phoenix, there's two phoenixes. Phoenix, Arizona, which is the fake Phoenix because all white people out there. And Atlanta, Georgia, the city of the Phoenix because it rose from the ashes. It used to be up under the water. But that city of the Phoenix, is, is, it starts from all the way from Tennessee to the tip of Florida because you have the Nile River, which runs upstream in Egypt, Kemet. You have another one that runs upstream in Jacksonville, Florida. That's called the St. John's River. Runs upstream. The Phoenix is in Atlanta, Georgia. They're talking about the Phoenix City. That's why your Olympics was chosen in 1940-something to go there. You see. That's why it was chosen in 1940-something. Greece was supposed to get it this in 96 because it was the doggone anniversary of the new Olympics. But they didn't get it because the Illuminati chose that thing in 1940 to go to Atlanta because it's the Phoenix City. You got a big bird on Martin Luther King Drive holding up the Phoenix. A woman with the phoenix. The phoenix is known as the falcon, which is the which is Heru, and it's known as the hawk. In, East, in, 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 in Atlanta, you got what? The Atlanta falcon and the Atlanta hawks. You see. So the the hawk is the phoenix, which is talking about black people. Heru, the Christ, the black Christ, the Messiah. That's you. Look at this. Page one ninety one. Look at this one. Uh. Let's get this. His last hand blooded throughout the United States. That's talking about the last time the United States is going to try to do a doggone battle. His last hand blooded through all the United States. Shall not save him by sea. Uh-uh, this is going on right here in America. This is what it's saying. It ain't going to be nothing on the outside. Between two rivers, the Atlantic and the Pacific, because he's looking into the future. So what's the, the river... He's talking about, he's talking about the ocean, so he's looking into the future. He said, he, but he told him in the movie, when you go see the movie, he said, I'm going to put it in cold. That's because, the, so, the, so the Holy Pope wouldn't kill him. Between two rivers, the Atlantic and the Pacific, they're talking about the United States. He shall fear a military hand, the black and the wrathful, wrathful shall be repentant. In another book, they say, the black one shall make him bend the knee. That's talking about us, right here in the United States. Right here in the United States, you see. In one of the prophecies, in one of the prophecies, in the, in the Nostradamus prophecies, it says this. Quartrain 81. This is another book called Nostradamus, The Visions of the Future. H. J. H. Brennan. B-R-E-N-N-A-N, page 190. By fire from the sky, 
The city almost raised, floating, threatened. The Greek Noah, he's talking about a, a particular uh, a Greek Noah, uh, he's also talking about, and Sidonia, he's talking about, he's, he's, he's using terms to explain modern day cultures. By fire from the sky, a great city raised and flooding, that means the fire going to come in through a UFO and it's going to blow up stuff and stuff going to start flooding and floating. Again, threatens Noah, the Greek Noah, Sidonia, vet, you know when something is vet, that means it's Angry and also vexed also mean they, they, they charge. Vexed by an African fleet after Libra leaves Leo. You see, vexed by an African fleet after Libra leaves Leo. Quartrain 72, page 210, the year 1999. Turn it upside down, it means 666. Add six is 18 and one and eight is nine. It's a code. You see, no, uh, 666 six, six is 18, one and eight is 19, and 19 means Leo is also the number 19 that Amal Muhammad talked about, the, number, the mystery of the number 19, which is the mystery in the riddle of the Sphinx, and the riddle of the Sphinx is the, is the god Harmaku, and the god Harmaku is the god Kim, and the god Kim means melanin, and it's talking about the black god. The year 1999. A great, from the sky, UFOs, a great king of terror, a great king of terror resurrecting the great kings of the Mongols before Mars reigned happily. Now let's break this down. They said in, in the future, 1999, they're talking about an actuality. We're talking about right now, because it's going on. They say a great king will come and resurrect the great kings of the Mongols. He put it in code. The original Mongols are who? Black people. You know, African origins of Asia, African origins of Europe. I haven't been certain to taught you that. Um, um, you know what I'm saying. What's the other guy? Renoka Rashidi. The original samurai warrior is black. So instead of saying African, he says Mongols, which still means black people. The great kings of Mongols, because all their gods over there are black people. You see what I'm saying? So they're just talking about a great king in the sky coming from the UFOs and resurrecting black people, you see. But, these, but this Nostradamus prophecies that they're talking about, they're talking about these particular Nostradamus prophecies. J.H. Brennan, Complete Prophecies, of, uh, this is called Nostradamus, the Vision into the Future. And this one is Complete Prophecies of Nostradamus, the Millennium Edition by Robert, um, Henry C. Robert, updated by Robert Lawrence. You know, updated by Robert Lawrence. Now, uh, so when you go, go and get the movie, the Orion movie. Now in this movie, they show him, he, he jump out a window and he end up in Vietnam. It, it's a good movie. And he tried to burn all the books and his, his other self came and said, hey, you can't get out of this. He said, you can't hide from yourself. And that's what they're telling you now. Hey, let's go with it. It's time to roll. All right. All right. Okay. Let's deal with some other things. And so let's see here. Now, let's see here. Okay. We're going to deal with the Kabbalah. And, okay, let me give you some other prophecies. 1981, very key year. People that know, 1981. Your boy is uh, on, on death row right now. Um, Mumia. 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 That's when the whole. That's when the whole thing went down. 81, 81. Bobby E. Wright got killed. Got killed. You know who Bobby E. Wright is? Psychopathic, racist, white people. He was throwing down before the Afrocentric movement started back up. He got killed. The government took him out. You see, took him out. Um, also took out Dia too. You can get into that too. Now, Bobby E. Wright got killed. Bob Marley left the scene, got killed. Anwar Sadat got killed. Lana Child murders Wayne Williams. You know they got a sister that was in the, 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 the one of the sisters. It's down there now, her, her child was in the land of child murder. She said, the that she said some, some, people, some people that was working in the facilities that wasn't down with it, but happened to be working in it, knew what was going on. They snook her, took, came and got her one night and snook her to some place where they was holding her daughter, the ones that was missing. They said she looked like she was 90 years old, a little baby girl. Experiment. 
the interferon experiments that put the key hole on the Ebola Zaire thing. All kicking, you see. So, uh, so also, if you take any doggone cycle consecutively, 1991, Gulf War, 1991, they had that whole thing between, um, you know, the, the whole uh, high-tech lynching, the, the black woman, um, Clarence, Anita Hill and Clarence Thomas. If you go, a lot of stuff lines up. Crown Heights riots. Um, a lot of stuff went down. All these particular cyc um, cycles that also went down at that particular time. 1995, crack cocaine came. 1985, crack cocaine. 1985 also, gang warfare. That's when they set up the gangs. The gangs were set up by the government. You see, they had gangs since the doggone 50s. Or the forties, but the gangs were set up when they gave them the crack and all the stuff and they incorporated them into a dope gang in a, in a, in a new mafia. A famine in Ethiopia, we are the world. Remember that? 1985, um, earthquake in Mexico. 1985, Farrakhan sees the whole UFO thing, remember that? You see, all of that particular thing going down in the particular, tra um, the, the particular prophecies. Now, let's get to some things right now. I want to deal with some things. I want to deal with the aliens, and I'm going to deal with the Christ thing. First of all, the aliens you see with the big bug eyes, I want to get this out because they're showing you these things on TV now about the alien autopsy. First of all, the aliens that you see that the white people was getting abducted with the big bug eyes, the entities that come out of space, they're not on the physical. The only, only place that's on the physical is the earth dimension. The ones that come out of the space, they're spiritual beings. They're black. They're black, but they're spiritual beings. I, I got a brother, I got a brother, he, brother, brother is 52 now, brother Juju. And he's 52, he, he was born in what, 19, what, 42. In, in 19, 1947, when he was five, he called out of distress because he, he was born, he was born hooked up on the high plane. So he was like living on two dimensions. So he put out of distress, he said, look, um, give me some help now so I can help some of my brothers and sisters. They said they couldn't do it. Because time is, they said, because they couldn't, time would not permit them, they had, some stuff had to still had to occur. You know, the 60s and the revolution and all that. So, and so, he's been doing this since, 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 um, since the 1950s. And what he did was, he would, when he goes to bed at night, he goes to them different dimensions, different planets. He said, go up there, and he said, he go to every last one of these planets, and all the brothers and sisters look just like us. But what the key is, is they got, because it's not physical, they can cloak themselves in any way they want to. So when they come amongst white people, they cloak themselves as the big bug-eyed looking people or either they even, sometimes they even come looking like white people. George Hunt Williamson met two black men from Sirius that wrote Other Tongues, Other Flesh in the 1950s and they appeared to him as two white men. So they can cloak themselves because they're on another advanced level. You see, the whole UFO thing on the physical the entity and all that kind of stuff, you get a book by Tompkins called, Thompson called Angels and Aliens. The angels are the UFOs. They can, they can turn themselves into UFOs. That ain't nothing. You see, so this thing is more advanced. So he used to go to these things and see these black people, and he used to go up there and cuss, cuss them niggas out. He said, because he was mad. He said he would cuss them out. And the only reason why they didn't get mad at him because his spirit, he's, he, uh, part of his spirit is Tahuti. And they understood the things he was going through and all. And he said, I done been up there all. He said, he used to bar me off them planets. I used to go up there raising hell. Brother, I own it. Now, what, so they cloak themselves. So all this stuff about the different thing, the whole brotherhood, the Pleiadians, and all of them are black people. Black people. The Elohim are black. They say the Elohim came to the earth. They are black people, just like us. The Elohim, the sons and daughters. You see? But you the head part because they all waiting on you. They waiting on you to wake up. They're, they're waiting on you. Look. The Secrets of the Kabbalah by F. J. F. C. Fuller. The beings below say that God is on high. That's what you say. While the angels in heaven say God lives on earth. That's the Zohar, the Kabbalah. So you the God. In here it tells you this. It says that the Holy One inflicts pain and suffering on the righteous. In this world that he may merit the next world to come. But he who is weak of soul, because he has no soul, 
and strong of flesh, talking about the white man, is the most hated of God. So God hates the cracker. All right. Because this is the book that the doggone Bible came from. So don't tell me no, everybody, everybody. God hates the cracker. This is F, this is F, J, F, C, Fuller. The secret wisdom of the Kabbalah is the most hated of God. It is because, because God has no pleasure in him that he inflicts no pain upon him in this world, but, per, but permits life to flow smoothly along with ease and comfort in that any virtuous act that he may perform and receive his reward in this world, so no portions shall be left for him in the next world. That's the white boy. There's a book called The Wandering Jew. The guy said, I believe, he said, I believe, he said, my burdens are suffering. Talking about these two black people talking. The other brother said, my burdens are suffering. He said, I inherited it as a divine birthright. And... One of them goes to a doctor, and the doctor gives him, give him an anesthesia. And the other guy says, no, because the anesthesia, which is the luxury, is to make you forget your suffering and make you forget your people that's suffering. You see. So they said, so what does that mean? Metaphysically, you got a cycle that's old, and you got a cycle that's new. It's just like what is up is now down in the new cycle. You understand what I'm saying? White people are flowing smoothly. Well, we got some poor white people. No, but they got opportunities to be rich. That's why when I see a poor cracker, he better not come up to me asking me for no dollars or nothing. If I got a penny, I ain't going to give nothing. I said, you got a chance to do some stuff. You can shave your greasy head, your, your, wash your greasy head and go up in there and you can get a job being a damn farmer over some brother with a damn PhD. You see? So, so, but they all have the opportunity. White people live like kings and queens in Atlanta. Big high houses and all that, you see. But the, but the, but the children, uh, but, but us, we will inherit the kingdom. Now, look, this is the book you need to get. These other Kabbalahs are books, the scientific breakdown of your body in, al in Hebrew alphabets. You want a, bi a Bible that the scriptures came out of that show you where the biblical scriptures, and that's this book, The Holy Kabbalah by A.E. Waite. This is the one, Citadel Press. They got a new gray cover on it now. Citadel Press, The Holy Kabbalah by A.E. Waite. Very key book, you gotta get it. Now, I'm getting ready to go into it. Look. It's the study of the secret doctrine of Israel, which is you, the unfold of the sons of the doctrine for the benefit and the constellation of the elect and dispersed through the greater lands of exile. You are the elect, and you are dispersed through the greater lands of exile, the great diaspora. That's you. That ain't nobody else but you. It ain't no new cracker that just came up. Now, look at this. Let's deal with some things. Let's see who the Messiah is. Page, let's see who the Messiah is. This can just neutralize all them niggas talking about following them. Next time a nigga talking about following him, take him around the corner, pull out a gun, and shoot that nigga. <laughs> if he the Messiah, see that that nigga come back. And if, he's, and, if he, and if he ain't got enough juice to know you're going to kill him, he ain't the Messiah in the first place. <laughs> shoot. <laughs> Listen. The time of the coming of the Messiah will be when the souls are kept in the treasury of souls against the day of their incarnation shall have actually come higher hither in flesh. Now, this is what it means. Thereafter would it seem that the new souls will be incarnated in Israel. You are Israel. Your black dot that's inside of you is lying dormant, silent. It's going to spring open. The new souls will be in heart, uh, in, incarnated in Israel. Then shall the chosen people, you or, or you, deserve to find and shall not fail therein. The beloved, the sister soul, predestined to each from the beginning of creation. 
This soul that you're talking about, you've been carrying it around and reincarnated. This seed comes from the beginning of creation. It's the seed from God, you see. The heavenly man, or the, uh, uh, the Adam Cadman. It says this. It is an allusion to this that the scriptures say, look, which means that there's something higher. A new heart I will give you. I will give you a new spirit. I will put it within you. Again, it shall come to pass that I will pour my spirit upon you. See what I'm saying? My spirit, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. And the sons and daughters shall prophesy, and the old man shall dream dreams, and the young men shall see visions. And the intruders shall be exterminated at the time when this shall be accomplished. Who are the intruders? An intruder is somebody who wasn't there in the beginning. Well, and just bust up in your house and take over. You intruding, nigga. Who is that? The white man. What? The white, who is it? Say it again. One more time. The intruder. The intruder will be, it shall be exterminated at the time when this shall be accomplished, which is said of the old creation. Now, it says, look at this. this look at this, look at this part here. They say, and that's when you see in the thing where Adam and Eve will, shall be a naked and a shame. That's the Adam and Eve of 6,000 years ago that the Bible say. That's the cracker that was written for him. Shall, this is when Adam and Eve shall be naked and ashamed. For the reason that the intruders are caused luxury and they will disappear and all learning towards, towards incontinuance shall vanish likewise. So what they mean is this. The intruder who calls luxury. Luxury is the reason why you can't get nowhere is because you're worrying about what that cracker got in them stoves. Them new pathetic houses, any of them. Them pathetic clothes, any of them. Even the African clothes because the crackers got the monopoly on that. Half that material printed in doggone Holland. Come on with it. And then the new, the Nigerians, some of them, the new doggone crackers, because they charging you four times what they pay for that crappy junk. And it's all vanity. It's all vanity. You trading one for the other, it don't mean nothing. You see what I'm saying? You still, that's what happened to the Afrocentric community. I went to the Melanin Conference. I seen the sisters, the first day they was registering it. Registering and stuff like that, and no one saying nothing. And the next day they come out with their African outfits. Ooh! You should have seen it. A, a big old parade. I said, hell, this done turned into an Afrocentric civil rights convention here. Same stuff. It's the exterior. As long as you function on the outside, you never get to the true mystery on the inside. Now, the intruders shall, who, who cause luxury will disappear. That's when they say Jesus chased the temple, the, the money chases from the temple, the white money changes from the temple. That's white people because they are the authors of capitalism. You see, that was a prophetic story. The man, this is the temple of God. The money changes got you. Christ changed the money chamber. That means when you become Christ, you can see through the hologram. You don't need the doggone 30 pieces of silver. Check. Look. Y'all all right? Look. Am I boring you? Okay, look. Now, this is the key why any time, the next time you see somebody talking about they're the Messiah, you take some, some all triple E 11 and a half, and sink right up that motherfucking rectum. <laughs> Use this pressure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I humble myself. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go that way. Because I know some of y'all people, y'all can't get past the kingdom of God because when you hear some cuss words, because you've been trained that way, thinking God give a dog on what come out your mouth. Speech is a defilement because one time you didn't speak, it was all clairvoyant. So any language and stuff, you didn't do that. So what? This is low level anyway, so... We grown here anyway. You see. Now, look at this. This is the deal. This is the key on the Messiah. 
They break it down right in this book and page. Now these are the original scriptures on what the, the Kabbalistic writers wrote the little Bible. Says, <laughs> we gonna write a little Bible and fool them niggas. <laughs> they wrote the Bible from this. But I'm gonna give you the keys in the Bible in a few minutes. On page one, 320 and three, no, 320 and 321. Let's see who the Messiah is that you're looking for. Let's see. The, exo, the esoteric Bible, now don't get no esoteric in this. Even though the Book of the Dead, that's all they're talking about. But we're talking about where the Bible came from. That's what you're interested in. Look. And as we know that the Christ who is to come is in each of us. Look at this. And as we know, look at this, is in each of us. Who is of Nazareth and of all local inhabitants of mystery, who is the sons of David and the sons of Joseph? The, uh, uh, the Joseph. It says, the heir of true legitimacy that stands ever at the door and knocks. In, uh, uh, and knocks. Now look at this. At the period... One and all the portholes shall be open. That's the black dot. You know what a porthole is? The threshold. That's talking about in your head. Once it open, the heaven gates open. We're going to go into that in a few minutes. Stick with me. So that he shall become in all the ways. Look at this. Okay. One of the heart and the mind of the... One at the heart and the mind of the intruders shall be cast out once and for all. We might come to pursue this point, that the subject of the Messiah of Israel is according to the light in the shadow of the secret doctrine. It is the forecast that that time the mystery of the union in the, and the mystery, and, and now a mystery of faith shall have endured. Now, it shall have endured. Look at this. A great king will rise up and conquer the world. There shall be a war against Israel, which has is been going on for the last 6,000 years. But the chosen people will be prevailed. Will, 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 the chosen people shall be delivered, excuse me, according to the account of the seven celestial chiefs that rule the seven nations of earth will marshal the legends of the world and make war against Jerusalem, but they shall be exterminated by the power of the Holy One. By the power of the Holy One. Now, what they're saying here, that in the conclusion of this whole thing, they're saying that the Messiah, the Messiah that they're talking about is in all of us, and the Messiah that they're talking about, the Matthew, the divine anointed one, is you. Now, that's when we go into the Bible scriptures. You got your pencil and a piece of paper? Let's go into the Bible scriptures. First of all, I want to say this. First of all, I want to de de deal with this. The white boys are now coming up and they're telling you about, they're telling you about, um, uh, they're telling you about, um, uh, melanoma. Yeah. Because they are dying. Crocker's been dying for a couple of years, you just didn't know that. Let me go into a little history on what's going on. In the 1930s and 40s, Adolf Hitler got some advanced secrets. He got some advanced secrets because he was, on, he, he, he was in an esoteric cult called the Order of the Black Sun. They got some, blank, some advanced secrets on cloning, how they can make bodies. You can clone a person in three days. The rest of the the rest of the white people said, oh no, y'all ain't getting on top of the magic. And they went, on, they went into a war based on magic. To get, who can control the magic on the planet that they got out of Egypt and they got out of different esoteric societies and the Germans was more advanced. Get a book called The Spear in Destiny. The Spear of Destiny. Tell you all, I don't know the name of the author by, by um, Wiser. Tell you about Hitler and the occult. He studied alchemy and they studied doggone metaphysics and they started getting into cloning. Now let me tell you something. Now check this out. They started getting into cloning. So they had this whole world war. He produced five clones and he got away and they gave up one of the clones. Now that was in the 1940s. Cloning has also became greater now. Became even greater now. The movie Judge Dredd showed you in the movie that they, they come out three hours, they can clone a person in literally three days. So what happened was a few years ago, white people started mutating. 
they started mutating. They mutated and started mutating into their bodies and their flesh. They couldn't take the sun anymore. They built underground cabins in the United States and in Australia. These white people, every time they come down with skin cancer, they were going to the hospital. The people would tell them, look, you got such and such time before you mutate. They say, what we're going to do is we're going to clone a body for you, and when you finally mutate, you come in and we'll switch up and your clone will go out. These clones now have memory, so the clone thinks that it is the person. You see what I'm saying? Go get the movie 1982 Blade Runner by cloning. But they said this other one had memory, right? So these clones think that it is the person. Now, this is the deal. Hmm? Free Jack. Free Jack. Talking about clones, too. They think that they're the person. Now, they go into the hospital. The ones that can't live, they go up under the ground. They, they send out the clones, and the clones go on back to the home. Do you know that 75% of crackers is now clones? The reason why you don't know it because they got memory and they actually think that they are the person. They don't need but a drop of DNA to clone you. That's what doggone Jurassic Park was all about. Why the hell you think they celebrated a movie for a whole entire year and didn't take it out of the theaters and it didn't become uh, into video for an entire year? It was about some dinosaurs? It was about DNA cloning. You see? They was dealing with the chaos fear up in there too. Jeff Goldberg had on a black suit talking about chaos. Melanie. But they was cloning. So, they have retreated underground. They got thousands of them. Half of them crackers you see, a lot of them is clones. 75% of them mutated in the sun since the 1990s. But you don't know because they switch up. They have gone under the ground. The book William Bramley and all the UFO people tell you that there's a group of gray people, root the grays, is ruling the government. You ever heard of that? The grays are the mutated white people. It ain't got nothing to do with no Orions. Those are mutated white people that the whole government is cloned and the other ones went up under the ground. Went up under the ground. They're up under the ground because they can't live up in the sun anymore. You see, and the graves that they're talking about is mutated doggone white people. They made a movie to celebrate it called Official Denial. Anybody saw this movie about a, supposed to have been about some aliens? And they say, well, where are these aliens from? The whole movie was about, they didn't know where the aliens was from. And at the end of the movie, they say, those aliens are us in the future. But those was, they was giving the code out because they say they're us, and they was gray people. Those are white people. You know how when they die, they turn black? They turn a grayish type thing? Now, to let you know how advanced this world is, some of you ain't going to believe this particular thing, what I'm saying. You can't. To let you know how advanced is, the mutated one, they let one of them come up on the ground. He on TV all the time, and you see him, but you think because of makeup that caught up with reality, you don't know when you're looking at something fake or you're looking at something real. Most of the time, you just think it's a good makeup job. They let one of the clones come up on the TV set. No, the one of the, one of the ones is mutated, and you ain't going to believe it who it is. You ever seen Tales from the Crypt? You ever seen that little rotted up man? That's a real person. Hard to believe. <laughs> That's a real cracker. I know. Y'all think I'm... They say, now that nigga there done gone too far. When you gonna see the movie, you gonna see him get out and get in a doggone car. That's a real cracker. They living up under the ground. Don't you know they had the doggone Earth Summit? They had the Earth Summit in 1992. They had the, the Earth Summit in 1992. United States pulled out of the Earth Summit because they didn't want to go and put, see, because they didn't want to uh, uh, do this particular, uh, uh, this particular Earth, um, what you would call um, um, these stipulations on what they had to do with the Earth because they had cloning centers up under the ground and also in doggone in um, Australia. Now these are the reports and they let this cracker come up on ground. There's, there's stuff going on so hideous with these crackers you don't even know, but you'll never know. You see? Because everything is like Hollywood. You just figure the way it is. So they done made so much things in so many years of, of doggone science fiction stuff until you don't know what's real or not. You see? That's why they made the movie in 1994. What's that, brother? The Matrix 2 talks all about that particular clone stuff. That's, that's where you get it from. It talks about all of that. And, those, and, and, and the graves that they're telling you about, you know, when they showed this guy on TV the other night about a doggone grave, that they supposedly had and had the alien autopsy, 
that was bull jive. What happened was, first of all, the ships that come out of space can't crash because they ain't physical and they're more advanced. What happened was that they got a book out now called Man-Made UFO, Man-Made UFOs from 1947 to 1995. That was the German technology that crashed based on a test site. It had nothing to do. And the person that got out of there had mutated. That was a cracker. That was a doggone cracker. You see. So now they, so what's happening is, the reason why they're concerned with, you, with, with melatonin now is because you can't clone a doggone clone but seven times. And some of those clones are now dying out rapidly. And then you will understand how doggone what's the name got a head full of gray hair now. Straight up clone. Clint. Straight up clone. They now even clone black people with surface melanin. Surface melanin. Some of them niggas you see that go out, like I was telling you about, they got a nigga that, that, co that comes out and he's talking about the um, affirmative action. Nothing but a clone. They put a DNA plant in their head and they can program them to say what they want, the clone. You see, they can program them to say what they want. That whole L.A. trial, them ain't nothing but clones up there. Half of them. The only one up there real is Johnny Cochran. You remember when, look, look at this. You remember, check this out. The cloning shit is the real deal shit. Y'all believe this stuff or let it alone. It, see, the, the beautiful thing about this is nothing that's supposed to get your attention like to say, um, you know, you believe something and say you're supposed to believe in what I'm saying. It's not a matter of whether you believe it or not. Hell, research the thing. You see what I'm saying? That's the beautiful part. I'm not trying to sit up here and tell you stuff to believe it. That's why I would come out and say something so miraculous and so ridiculous is because I'm not expecting but two or three people to believe this shit in the first place. <laughs> but I'm only, here for those mo I'm only here for the two or three people that know what time it is. Not the niggas that's got the damn justified. You can research yourself to death. You ain't gonna find this stuff in books. But they put it out in the metaphysical stuff. So it's not a matter of whether you believe it or not. It might sound crazy, but it's the beautiful part about it, I told you that you was the Messiah. So I'm not trying to start no movement where you can doggone follow me like I'm a brother with profound knowledge. Hey. I'm a poor nigga that shoot. Yeah, I came here, hell, I paid rent Monday, and we come, we got on the plane with no money. Some damn grapes we had on the bag. And then we come up this boat. So this ain't no game about, you know, I'm trying to win no stuff and no some Messiah. I told you you was the Messiah. So this, you know, hey, we, we was broke as hell up until the night when I probably dipped into some or something, whatever I'm getting. Shoot, hell, you know what I'm saying? We, we had, we... We came in this mud with some damn grapes and stuff, man. Shoot. That's all we had. So this ain't no so now look. <laughs> look. <laughs> look at this thing. It ain't a matter of stuff. See the beautiful part about it is, the beautiful part about it is, you speak to a hundred, you bound to get five that know what time it is. But it's only for the ones in here that's the frequency. The rest of the niggas have got to convince themselves, you know, hell, you got if you're going back to Jesus Christ. <laughs> You know, hey, look at, look what trouble he done got you into all these years. Now that's a fact. That's more true than the clones. But anyway, what the deal is about the clones and stuff, these crackers are now mutating. They're dying amongst your behinds right now. They're dying. They got to go and they can't even come outside. And they got this clone stuff is real. You see, now the, you, look at, now look at this. Now, now I want y'all to just, just, just think a minute. Now how stupid can we be to think that they're going to put on the O.J. Simpson trial? Now look at this. They're going to put on the O.J. Simpson trial, and the defense is telling you that the trial that O.J. was set up by the LAPD, but yet they're going to give you a doggone judge whose wife is the head of the LAPD. That's a conflict of interest, and nobody ever challenged it. The whole trial is choreographed because they can't start wars now, and they got to make big time money. And it's done made billions. So what happened? The Furman tapes come out. The real one, because they switch back and forth. The real one breaks down and starts crying. They say, oh, this nigga hit nothing up. Next day, they send in the clone. He be like, he own it. He like, nah, uh Two dog on Furman, uh, two, 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 two dog on speeches off the Furman tape. Gave all the rest of them, say, I'm, 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 you can tempt the court, you can tempt the court. Hard no, straight up clone. The reason why they had to quit, see, they can clone these doggone black people. Now, come on, let's be sensible. What, how stupid can we be believe to think that they're going to set up this thing, frame the man, and give you an all-black jury? 
Come on, man. The reason why they had to quit switching them jurors because half some of them jurors is doggone cloned and them things was down. Break it down on their behind. Serious. They, this thing is all choreographed. All cho choreographed. You, you damn right. Let me tell you the deal. Look at him. I'm going to tell you about it. Now, let's be realistic here. If I did it and I'm sitting in court, I'll try to be cool. But ain't no way in hell some people going to come up for damn nine months and tell lie after lie on you and you don't jump up. If I was on trial, I'd be kicking everybody in the butt. Oh, hell no, that ain't me. This is cool. Look, this the real deal. This the real deal. First of all, this is the deal. Kato Kalen, they put Kato Kalen in the house to set it up to make sure nobody didn't come up and blow up the plan. He the one that gave them his real gloves. The real gloves did fit, but they done cloned the man and the clone hand was too damn big and the damn gloves didn't fit. The, look. The way they say, they say they got to switch that nigga up every break. They got to bring in a new clone. I'm serious. I'm telling you. Everything you see in is orchestrated. It's a choreograph. It's Hollywood. Don't you, come on, man. Don't you know it's got, do you know if they was dealing with something real, they would not put it on CNN, CNN all day because maybe something might mess up. But if they got this thing choreographed, you understand what I'm saying? Huh? It's, it's too dramatic. It's too dramatic. Oh, I got some tapes on the nigga, and it, a, a, a year done gone by and all the tapes pop up. It's all too dramatic. This is what the deal is. This is the scenario on the OJ thing. Look. This is the scenario. This is what's going down. First of all, they're trying to rile you up so you can have a race right. But look, check this out. No, listen. Listen up. First of all, if OJ gets the electric chair or either go to jail for life or gas chamber or whatever, first thing a black person gonna go is, that's fucked up, man. <laughs> and that's it. He gonna go on about his business. <laughs> man, that's messed up the way they did OJ. Cause they know the only one that's gonna really fight is who? The youngsters. Now, the youngsters, the ones that's out here now that's throwing down, O.J. Simpson was already out the NFL before these people even know. They didn't even know who O.J. Simpson was. Who is O.J. Simpson? They don't know. This man been out of the NBA, NFL for 16 years. Some of the people out there throwing down 16. They don't even know who he is. So they know that black people ain't going to raise a fist on O.J. who ain't been black since he was 15 himself. This got the karma. They know that. So what they going to do? The key is, is to get him off and then the crackers go to town because them the ones that's ready to fight based on all the stuff that's going down because they done played how he brutally so-called beat this woman for a whole year. So if they let him off, it's the reverse Rodney King thing, which they set up from the get-go. So the race war is not that they're going to send him to jail. They wouldn't benefit from sending that nigga to jail. Black people ain't going to raise no fist. They killed them babies in Atlanta. You didn't raise no fist. The heck. You march before the crackers and they beat you with hoses and they didn't raise no fists. You think you're going to raise some fists over a doggone nigga married to a cracker? Yeah, the whole thing is to make the whole thing a race of tension by letting him off. You see, by letting him off. That's why all of a sudden the cases is breaking down now. They got these tapes that fall out of everywhere. Everybody is fumbling. And this man is a Ku Klux Klansman. Remember the whole Ku Klux Klan thing again? All key. Let's get to the Bible scripture so we can get on out of here. Check it out. Amen. Get your papers. You got to write this down. Million Man March. Deal with the Million Man March right quick. All right. Let's deal with this here. This the, deal, let me the deal is this. First of all, the trial, the OJ trial is going to stop and it's going to end up around... September, and they're going to deliberate up until around October. The Pope going to be here in October. In October. The Million Man March is in October. The Million Man March is to get a group of black people down. Now, I'm, no, let's let the cat out the bag. 
Try to pull drive. Good to hear. I ain't gonna say that, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna let's let the cat out the bag. Just quit bull driving with this funny mess. You see, fortunately, because I'm a speaker now, you get to go places and you hear people from all over. So I was in Charlotte, and the head of the mosque had me to come speak. So now the news was in Charlotte was this. First of all, you got a million man march. You got to pay. You, first of all, you got to register, but it's $1,000 to march near him. It's $1,000 to march near him. Plus they're registering people to vote for what? The, now going by the brother in the mosque, said that they're trying to open up an independent party so they can run for president. Okay, first of all, what you marching for in the first place? You, see they, they play on us by emotionalism. Oh, a, a million black men getting together. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, come on, we the biggest clowns in the world. What in the devil? Okay, before I get to the reason, let's deal with this thing. Reparations? Wait a minute, hold on. Let's see here now. Okay, now Newt Gingrich and them talking about cutting out hot lunch program. They're talking about cutting out um, welfare, affirmative action, Medicare, putting you in orphanages, killing the dope dealers, and totally eradicating you. And yet they're going to give you some doggone reparations? See what I'm saying? Okay. Next thing. He said that he wants to go and demand that the government open up the records on how many people they kill. <laughs> Ask your damn self how many people they kill. What you need the government to document that for? You understand what I'm saying? Like the government gonna go, ooh, a billion black men outside. Oh, I better open up the records. <laughs> <laughs> then he registered people to vote. Now, this is the deal. This is the deal, what's gonna happen. We got it on the spiritual realm before, but we didn't know what the chemical was. At first I said, oh, they, the sister said, oh, man. I, she said, oh, God, I see it. She said, oh, Lord, I see it. I see them marching, and I see them dropping this chemical on them, and it's going to mess them up. But we, did, we got that in January. We didn't know that the Ebola was in Jan was, came out in March. This is the damn lineup. First of all, everything is paid for. They got it all right. They're going to march a million niggas up in D.C. They're going to drop the Ebola. Now, now listen up. Because you registered, they know who you are. So when you go back to wherever you're going back, everybody that you come in contact with, they're going to lock up too and they can justify the concentration camps because niggas got the Ebola. Okay. Wait a minute. Something wrong with that nigga up on the podium because that nigga lying out of his ass. Okay. Let's see if I'm lying. Let's see if I'm lying. If Sister Burke would have got it on video, she could have made a whole lot of money off this here. Let's see if I'm lying. Do you know the cracker put it on TV set? About three weeks ago, he showed it on TV what he's gonna do to niggas. On a Wednesday night on NBC, a show came on called Omen. Anybody see the show? That's just it. The show came on one time. It was about Omen. And they showed the man going to the CDC and get the vial. Take it out to the parade. Who was marching in the parade? It was a group of Irishmen. Check your history out. The Irishman is known as what? The black man of Europe. The niggas of Europe. The Irish, and they also, because the pharaohs were there. When they ran the snakes out, that was the snake people. It's coded. They came, and he was getting ready to drop it, but he was stopped. They showed it one time. It was supposed to be a TV series, but we broke the dog on code. We broke the code, and because my phone bug, and because they can see you on the Hubble telescope, just like this. Go look at the doggone movie, Under Siege 2, Dark Territory, the new movie, um, uh, Steven Seagal last movie. They can see you just like a TV set. Because when we broke the doggone code, it was going to be the Million Man March. They took the doggone series off and didn't even air it the next week. It's supposed to have been a series from now on. But they showed it on TV what they're going to do at the Million Man March. They're going to drop the dog on Ebola. That was what Outbreak and all that was about. But that's blood. No, niggas, go get the movie Outbreak. That shows you the doggone thing can go airborne. And they can contain it. That's why they did the doggone one before in Africa. Two days after having what? Another show on NBC on Monday night called Violet on the Ebola thing. 
Come on, are we stupid to think that the white man gonna predict, gonna come out with a disease and make a movie and a TV show and then it's gonna happen for real in Africa? And you think it's a disease? You see what I'm saying? And you think it's a disease? The Million Man March was, the Million Man March was doggone cooked up by Ben Chavis and the doggone black con Congressional Black Caucus under the heads of the white spin guard brothers and the white doggone trilateral commission told them to put on a Million Man March. And they couldn't pull the damn thing off so they went and got the Minister Louis Farrakhan. The white man is the one that invented that march. They went and got him. And they're going to take a million people to Washington, D.C. and they're going to drop the Ebola on their behinds. Huh? All right. So, <laughs> I might well let the cat out the bag now. I might well let the cat out the bag now. Because she said it. That's the spirit. All right. Let's go into it then. Okay. Let's go into it. I said, I said, I wasn't going to say nothing, them niggas weren't going to accept it. That was the spirit just now. Okay, let's go into it. All right, let's go into the history. Man, this America is, is greater than what you think it is as far as the evil. When they say evil in the last times, it's nothing like you thinking it is. Let's go into this thing. Let's go into this thing. Go back and get the 1984 tapes of Minister Louis Farrakhan. 83, 84 takes. Mr. Louis Farrakhan had a wavy type of hair. Now you see a nigga with straight hair. Let me go into this thing. I'll tell it. Now, before I go into this thing, I'm going to tell you some things. It's up to you whether you believe it or not. It's simple as that. Whether you believe this or not is up to you. That's what's cool. If you, if you think it's too outrageous and outlandish, then don't believe it. But I'll tell it to you because I, I already know I'm already... Ain't nobody moving against the kid at all. Understand what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't none of that stuff there. I don't want up the East Coast saying what I said. Ain't nobody, ain't, ain't nobody moving against the kid. The only reason why I didn't say that now I figured the Negroes couldn't deal with it. Well, let's go into this thing. Let it out the bag. In the year 1991, Sir, Minister Louis Farrakhan was report, uh, approached by the white powers to be. Minister Louis Farrakhan, yes, he is a brother that would not, that would take his life. But it's another thing when a person saying, we're not going to take your life. We're going to take your sister, your brother, your wife, and your daughter. Then Negroes start singing another tune when, that, when they put the good pipe to somebody else's head. They say, you got one choice. You got one choice. You can get killed and we can get the blood and we can clone you in a matter of three days. Or you can go into hiding. He decided to go into hiding. They cloned him and the whole family. Now, let's deal with this thing. They cloned him. Brother Devil Blair, as well as the Matrix system, tell you that they can get the clone right. Everything but the eyes. The Minister Louis 